Hey Joe, this is for you. Uh, Firehouse from Kiss, although I'm probably going to do this video for YouTube and have other people watch, but uh, a couple things about Kiss that you should know before even uh, attempting a song. They use a progression off the A chord, or anywhere up the neck for that fact. Um, and the progression is this. It's just go with the A chord, three, three string or maybe even four if you want to include the top one. Okay? A chord. Now, you want to put your second finger on the third fret on the second string. So you're going to have... But you're going to use your second finger on that for a reason. Because your third finger is going to be up here on the... Well, if I counted from up, one, two, three, four, it's going to be on this string. together and when you combine it with the A chord you get a progression Kiss absolutely loves this progression at least half of their songs have it lick it up come on right um, or even up here same thing that Brian May does on We Will uh, We Will Rock You. See what I'm saying? So <clears throat> if you can learn that out of Kiss, then you'll really have half of their songs figured out, uh, at least. So, but they love that progression from very early up until recently. So. Uh, one other thing is make sure to tune half a step down. Uh, Kiss plays every album, every song live half a step down. Don't know why. Maybe they just want to be unique and stand off from everyone else. Maybe they just want to make guitar tuners you know, who love Kiss force them to tune a half step down. I don't know. But getting back to the song, uh, you're going to use that same progression I just showed you, but you're not going to use your second finger on this. You're just going to go... So you're going to have your third finger on that fourth string, fourth fret. So for the intro, and it goes up two frets, by the way. So you're going to have the same fingering back down again. Okay. So I'm really just using just two strings. The top string is muffed. Okay, alright. Uh, so you're going to have... Just get that rhythm down and you'll be good to go. The next part, oh, guess what? Another progression. But we're going to come up here to the 7th fret. Okay, and that's going to be really just a bar D chord. But just using, again... A to the D, and you're going to use that progression. Get that? I'm telling you, it's... Um... And that's the bulk of the song. Uh, so, another part that we're going to learn is going to come right after the intro. So, for the first part, you're going to have... Okay, you, you could do, yeah, you could do this. Where they're going. Like that. Or, you can just do what I do, and I think it's the same thing they use on uh, She's a Beauty. But you just come down here and, let me see. That's going to be the next part of the song. It's going to be the E. And that's all it is. It's just a strumming part. And I like to crank up the volume. I like to crank up the distortion. I like to have that metal sound to it. So I put a little bit more hair on the balls 
for this song than you would hear on the album or even live. I just like that crunch for some reason. But uh, otherwise, for your purpose, we're going to be a little bit unmuffled on this. A little bit of distortion, but not a lot. Uh, so you can be doing the E. going to kind of muffle that. Uh, you just want to have that. Okay. So, so you're going to start off with the A. Okay. So you can start with an A, G, 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 like that. But what I do is I move my A, my fingering up to the A so I can get that sound below. Otherwise I'll have, doesn't sound right. So you're going to have G, E, G, E. backing tracks, but right now I just want to make sure you understand that part of the song. All right, Joe, let's go on to the uh, next part here where you're going to have a little bit of a break in the song. It's going to go G, I'm, I'm sorry, C, G, uh, F, B flat, and then E, E, E. Okay, so we're going to have power bar upper chords. You don't do the whole thing. You just do the upper three strings, muffling the uh, top string. And it's always on the upstroke on this one here. Okay, so yeah, you got B flat, and then B, 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 B. All right, so you got that going on. Really important uh, that you know that combination. I know they do that once and then you're going back to now when it gets to the part where they repeat this four times on the second part of that rhythm you're going to have a little bit of a that's going to be C, C, G, G. part again with the C, G, uh, flat, you do that and you go back to it twice, you don't need to do the hammering again, okay, now here comes the bridge, okay, you got that, that's going to be a B, of that same repeat, that's the same, you repeat that twice. On the live version, you repeat it four times. My drum track here has the live version. So you're going to go with that, and then after it comes back, you repeat that again twice. And then you're going to, after the lead's done, you're going to go... Come in and when you do that 
or after it, you're going to be going. <laughs> part you gotta learn and you're starting off with your, let me see uh, <laughs> e, F, G, 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 C. starting off with an E so you're gonna go from the second second fret and you're on the fourth string fifth fret slide back one to the fourth fret open and then second fret slide to the fourth
Yep, there you go. Hope you enjoyed.